pay. The Commission is making good progress, as I understand it, towards this. So I think we will see this, although there's a question of how it will be implemented, which I don't have time to address, but it's an important question of how it's implemented. But um, legislation should be changed to um, put standards that are adopted by both formal standard-setting organizations and appropriate fora and consortia, consortia on an equal footing so that public procurement uh, of products that comply with standards adopted by informal fora, fora and consortia should be on an equal footing with, with products complying with standards adopted by more formal standard-setting organizations such as Etsy. Um, the next suggestion is to enforce competition law against monopolists who don't disclose specifications required to achieve interoperability with their products. This is not, of course, really a public pr procurement issue in itself, but it relates directly to it. Um, another topic which Commissioner Cruz mentioned, uh, which is in the digital agenda communication and which is in the DG competition draft horizontal um, guidelines that came out a short time ago, is that competition law should permit and policies should encourage the adoption by standard setting organizations of ex ante disclosure and negotiation policies. So in other words, um, in the context of the adoption of a standard, not only should the standard setting organizations rules require the disclosure of any relevant intellectual property, they should also require the disclosure of the maximum licensing terms which will be demanded by each of the relevant intellectual property holders. And, and this is something which is not properly addressed in the draft horizontal guidelines, I think for this to work properly, and I will readily admit that different standard setting organizations, different, different technologies are very different from one another. From one another. There's no one size fits all approach. Different rules need to be adopted for different settings. But in many circumstances, only disclosure of the maximum licensing terms will not be enough to work. There must be also some sort of negotiation. I will be done in one minute. Um, there is a need to change patent laws to prevent patents from being used to hinder interoperability. The efforts to include things like an interoperability exception in the, the failed community patent proposal I'm not so sure we're going to see resurrected anytime soon. But there is one thing which has a serious chance of success, and that is the license of right provision, which is included in the draft community patent proposal. Uh, and that would be helpful in this regard. But there is more to be done as well. And finally, um,